Very pretty. I love it. Gorgeous. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to get this Aorus 3 Wi-Fi gaming motherboard to work and yeah, so stay tuned with me. Here we go. So let me tell you guys what's going on. I bought this motherboard at Micro Center a while back ago. The reason why I got it so cheap is because it had bent pins on it. Legitimately bent pins. Um, what a mistake. But we tried to fix it. I got a USB microscope and I lined it all up at like a 200 magnification. I lined it all up so I could get it to, um, to get it hopefully it works. So let's start her up and see what happens. Alrighty, so just got done putting the CPU in, got our SD card, graphics card that we're going to put in it, and the Z8. This is a pretty cool little CPU cooler. I'm sure you guys have seen this around before. It's only about 20 bucks for it, but it has a really good TDP rating on it. So I would like to use it for this it's brand new Let's see what this looks like. equipment right. and all right so this is a 1151 motherboard so I need to Find the 1151 setup 1150x that would be us anytime you see 1150x that's the same as us 1151 so it's pretty straightforward put the bracket underneath put the top bars on top of it and that's what secures it down that metal plate that goes in between it okay so it's like a standard one okay all right let's go ahead and put this together Cue the montage. So we got the CPU cooler put in. It looks great. I put in a one single stick of DDR4. I'm just basically trying to test it out and see what's going on. The next thing that we have to add is a hard drive. Installing hard drives of any matter, when it comes to the ports on the board, the ports always start with O and work their way up. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. All right, when it comes to your boot drive, you want it to be an O or an one because when the system turns on, it's gonna start with zero and go to one, two, three, four, and it's gonna keep going until it finds a hard drive. So put it in letter O or slot O and you'll be good to go. Let's, uh, oh yes, the graphics card. We're gonna go ahead and put this in. This is a 960 Extreme. And make sure our slot's pulled out and it is. And we're just going to give it a good little... Oh, that didn't sound good. Hopefully that was just this thing clicking. Alright, it does appear to be installed. It takes a 6 and an 8 pin. Oh, jeez, do I have that? PCI Express, 6 and 8. Yes, we do. We got that. Alright, go ahead and plug that up. All right, so I think we are good to finally hook the rest of it up. So we'll have to hook the, uh, see here we have keyboard and mouse. God, I hope I just didn't do all this for nothing. All right, hook up keyboard and mouse. And then we are HDMI, so no need for an adapter. So we'll just pull that straight and plug it into one of the HDMI slots at the bottom. So I guess it would be that one. OK, 
Okay, plug in our graphics card, got our pin. Let's get some power running to it. Let's see here, I've got like a monster project. And we'll run this way. All right, so the system is coming on and off. Man, look at all the pretty RGB on it. See, it's coming on and then it's coming off. It's almost like it's boot looping. And I, I'm getting an error code down here. Okay, the red error code is reading boot. So, Perhaps it cannot boot. But the good news, does that not plugged in? Why is that not plugged in? Damn it. All right. Man, I can't get over how pretty it is. Oh, there we go. BIOS has been reset. Please reconfigure your BIOS setup if needed. Yes, guys. Yes, I did it. Fuck yeah. Boom! Let me tell you what I just did. I got a $150 motherboard for $25 because the bent pins was the issue. No problem. When it comes to AMD and those bent pins, that's a different situation. But when it comes to Intel and bent pins, that is a whole nother ball game. Easily to fix, some of them. So I bought a micro USB micro like a microscope up to like 250 times the power and I use that to push all of the little bent pins back into a straight row and look what happened we did it success oh my god I'm so excited about this I cannot wait I got an i3 81 8150 or 8100 something like that it's a 7th or an 8th gen, I think it's a 7th, no, 8th gen. It's an 8th gen CPU, so this is an 8th gen setup. God, I'm so excited. Look at all the bling on it. Boy, is this thing pretty. Woo! All right, so it says let's, uh, okay, we'll redo the BIOS. Let's see what happens. Everything looks good, system, chipset. Oh yeah, we're good. I don't see any types of errors coming up, especially in the main system. See, there's no types of errors. So we're good. H370 Oris Gaming 3 Wi-Fi. Yep, that's what it is. I'm not worried about the date or the time. Uh, frequency. I don't think I can overclock this chip. I don't think it's a clockable chip. Enabled, enabled, enabled. Okay, okay, all right. Um... Where is the, let's see here, let's find system, BIOS date, BIOS version, you know, we'll have to take this in the house and I'll have to get it set up. So, but anyway, I'm done. I got it to work. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all make sure to subscribe to the channel and as always, you guys be cool. Peace. It's so awesome. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. Hold on. Let's uh, see this system right here. I just fixed it. It had a bad stick of RAM in it. Oh, yeah. Very pretty. I love it. Gorgeous.